this now? I work till four. I don't think that opening up a bar and living above it was what your dad had in mind when he gave you the building. Well, my dad said to do what I love, and I love to drink for free. Plus, the commute rocks. Kate. What are you doing? Will you marry me? Ow! What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? You don't oh. even know me. I don't floss. Did you know that? I know you don't want to get your hopes up so that you never get disappointed. It's a Your guy's like three hours early. <laughs> I'm looking for Nathaniel Basil. Basil? Yeah, that's me. You're Nathaniel Basil. You live in a bar. No, I live above a bar. Now, uh, do you want to take my cookie order? Or I'm not a Girl Scout. I'm, I'm your daughter. <laughs> that's. Wait, you're my what? One more time for the cheap seats. You and someone had a kid. You gave up that kid. I am that kid, and I'm applying for emancipation. If I don't get these signatures, both signatures, then I'm gonna have to spend another two years being bounced around crappy foster care. Rifle through the memory banks of teenage girls you impregnated. That'd be great. Kate Cassidy, that's your that's your mom. Are we good? Are you good? Are we okay now? Kate Cassidy f f from high school? She hated you. Wait, Kate Cassidy, the one on the radio from K100? That's my mom. Good morning, Portland. I am Kate Cassidy, and for those of you who are just waking up, screw you. Ryan and I, we have been up since five. Hey, you there? Uh, Kate? That's Baines from high school. I need to talk to you. You went to high school with Kate? Maybe he can shed some light on your uh, teen years. Yeah, there will be no shedding. Oh, come on, Kate. Who hates high school? Maybe were you one of those girls who got knocked up on prom then? Um, more like winter formal. What? What is so important that you couldn't wait until after I was off the air? Meet Lux. It's our daughter. This is only my heart. Hi. You're big. If, if you could just sign right there, I can't get emancipated without this. Emancipated. For the foster care system, she's never been adopted. I see you turn 16 tomorrow. Yes, and I'll be old enough to get emancipated. I can get my GED. What are you doing here? You have no income. You have no permanent residence. Hello? Who are you people? These are my birth parents. Lux and I, we go way back. Really, to when? Yesterday? We bonded. You want to bond, be attached by an umbilical cord. I don't think she remembers that. No, oh, thank God she doesn't, because then she'd remember what a jerk you are. You own your own business? Yes, Your Honor. And you're a radio talk jockey. What, what, what is going on? I am not granting you emancipation. I'm releasing you into their temporary joint custody. Well, that was the opposite of emancipation. This is all your fault. Oh, it's my fault. You're so... pretty indignant for someone who never even told me I had a kid oh, out Why would I? You wouldn't even admit she was yours. Okay, my God, Kate, what did you want me to do? Huh. Did you want me to propose? Did you want me to marry you? God, it was high school. Get over it. I'm going back to foster care. You can't be anyone's parents. You need parents. Lux. Just let me go, okay? You did it once. It shouldn't be that hard to do it again. I don't want to push people away anymore. I don't want to sabotage and screw this up. I just want to be an adult. What exactly are you proposing? I'm going to take care of her. Can I tell you the truth? Without you getting mad or doing the whole snarky, sarcastic thing that runs in our family, it is all going to work out. You don't know that. Yes, I do. So show me something I can hold within the world of my control. Because I can't sample something fake if it's something I can smell or taste. Tell me something I can hear. The CW presents... A story about untangling your family ties. Gonna get that last one, it won't come true. I think it already has. Show me something I can hear. Don't show me something I can touch. Life unexpected. Coming to the CW. Show me something real.